The CTA is going to be the next big thing in gamma ray astronomy. But what is gamma ray astronomy? Firstly, let's break it down into gamma rays and astronomy. Gamma rays are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is made up of all the electromagnetic waves. The properties of a wave is determined by its wavelength. If you have a wave like this, the wavelength is the distance from two identical points. The shorter the wavelength, the more energetic the wave. So as we move up the spectrum, the types of radiation become more powerful. The most commonly observed part of the electromagnetic spectrum is visible light, and that's because we can see it. The majority of the electromagnetic spectrum is actually completely invisible to humans. Here is the whole electromagnetic spectrum. The waves with the longest wavelengths are radio waves. These can be transmitted and received to allow us to listen to communicate over long distances. The next part are microwaves. These can be used to heat up water molecules, which is why you use a microwave to reheat your food. Up next is infrared. This is just before the visible section. It corresponds to heat. When you put your hand next to a hot fire, it feels warm, and this is because it gives off infrared waves. Visible light is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Different colours correspond to different wavelengths, with red being the longest and violet being the shortest. After visible light comes UV. This is where the waves start getting dangerous. UV radiation can lead to sunburn if you are out too long without sun cream on. After UV radiation comes X-rays. These are extremely useful as they can pass through skin and muscles, but not bones, which allows us to use x-rays to check if we have broken any bones. The final form of radiation, and the most energetic, is gamma rays. These extremely powerful electromagnetic waves are the ones the CTA will detect. They are produced during the most dramatic activities like nuclear explosions, black holes and exploding stars. Now we have covered gamma rays, we can talk about astronomy. Astronomy is observing and studying objects in space. The electromagnetic spectrum is really useful for this, as we can detect the electromagnetic radiation the objects emit. This was initially only done with visible light, before people understood what the electromagnetic spectrum was, but now observations are done in all wavelengths. However, there is a big problem. Not all of the spectrum reaches the Earth. The atmosphere only lets certain parts of the electromagnetic spectrum through. The atmosphere lets radio, infrared, visible, and low energy UV through, but does not let microwaves, high energy UV light, X-rays and gamma rays. That means to detect these wavelengths we have to send the telescopes up to space or devise some clever techniques. Now you are experts on gamma rays and astronomy, we can combine the two together and talk about gamma ray astronomy. Gamma rays were first detected by using equipment attached to balloons which were sent high enough to avoid most of the atmosphere. In the 1960s, gamma ray astronomy took a new leap when the telescope COSB was launched into space. Since then, there have been many more telescopes, with the most recent being the Fermi telescope, which studies blazars, neutron stars, gamma ray background radiation, supernova remnants, dark matter, and more. Gamma rays, however, can also be detected from the ground with Cherenkov telescopes. When gamma rays enter the atmosphere, they collide with atmospheric atoms and produce flashes of Cherenkov light. This Cherenkov light can be detected with the ground-based Cherenkov telescopes, and this information can be used to show where the gamma rays have come from. The first imaging Cherenkov telescope was the Whipple 10 meter in Arizona, but now there are multiple arrays and telescopes detecting gamma rays. The largest one is the HESS in Namibia. The CTA is a new gamma ray telescope array that will greatly improve gamma ray detection. This is going to lead to huge advancements in gamma ray astronomy. To learn more about what the CTA is going to detect and why it is so important, click the link below to be taken to the next video.